हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम बैक टू इजी डेंटिस्ट्री होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग रियली गुड टूडे वी वुड बी स्टडिंग द ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ हाइपर टेंशन दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट लॉन्ग आंसर क्वेश्चन विच इज आस्ट इन एग्जाम सो वॉच दिस लेक्चर केयरफुली बट बिफोर वी बिगिन प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू आर चैनल एंड हिट ऑन द बेल आइकन सो दैट वेन एवर वी अपलोड अ न्यू लेक्चर यू गेट अ नोटिफिकेशन ऑफ इट ऑल्सो यू कैन विजिट आर प्ले लिस्ट देर यू विल फाइंड a various playlists on different subjects like pharmacology dental histology dental anatomy microbiology dental materials you can go to the playlist of the selected subject and find all the lectures uploaded till now don't forget to share these videos with all your friends and help them in their studies before starting with this lecture i recommend you all to watch anti hypertensive drugs lecture which i have already uploaded the link of which you can be you can see in the description box below so watch the lecture on anti hypertensive drugs before proceeding with this lecture on treatment of hypertension so beginning with today's class what is the aim of the treatment of hypertension the aim is to lower the persistently raised blood pressure to an acceptable level with minimum inconvenience to the patient and this overall reduces the morbidity and mortality caused by hypertension so what are the complications of hypertension hypertension causes target organ damage various complication in of hypertension are cardiovascular diseases transient ischemic attack strokes left ventricular failure congestive heart failure angina myocardial infarction and cardiac arrest arteriosclerosis may also occur because of hypertension retinopathy aortic aneurysm renal failure and glomerulopathy are other complications of hypertension so while treating hypertensions first you should consider certain non pharmacological measures such as lifestyle modifications which include intake of proper balanced diet regular exercise weight loss and mental relaxation after these non pharmacological measures you can switch to pharmacological measures let us study these pharmacological measures of hypertension in detail first is a stepped care approach so remember this stepped care approach in this stepped care approach initially a single dose of single drug is used to control the hypertension but if the hypertension is not controlled by this single drug progressively one to three drugs are added so this is step by step approach first one drug is used then drugs are added so this is called as the stepped care approach of treatment of hypertension now combination therapy of different drugs is used for the control of hypertension approximately 50% of the patients are treated with single dose but if this single drug is not sufficient enough to control the hypertension two or more drugs are added to the therapy now what are these combinations the in drugs which increase the plasma renin level such as diuretics vasodilators calcium channel blockers and ace inhibitors are combined with drugs which lower the renin activity such as the beta blockers clonidine and methyl dopa secondly sympathetic inhibitors and vasodilators have a side effect of fluid retention in the body and slow development of tolerance to the drugs so these sympathetic inhibitors and vasodilators are combined with diuretics the diuretics reduces both fluid retention and drug tolerance the third combination is that of dihydropyridine or hydralazine which these two drugs causes tachycardia so to counteract it the dhp and hydralazine is combined with the beta blockers 
The fourth combination is that of AC inhibitors which is given with diuretics in case of congestive heart failure and left ventricular failure. The fifth combination is that of ACE inhibitors and calcium channel blockers. These two drugs act with synergism. Then the last combination is a triple drug regimen. It is used, the three drugs which are used in this regimen are calcium channel blockers, diuretics and ACE inhibitors or beta blockers. Now, what is the treatment of hypertensive emergencies and urgencies? First, let us see what is an hypertensive emergency and what is an, a hypertensive urgency. So, if there is systolic BP more than 220 mm Hg and diastolic BP more than 120 mm Hg plus target organ damage, then it is called as hypertensive emergency. Then, if the systolic BP is more than 220 mm Hg and diastolic BP is more than 120 mm Hg with no target organ damage, then it is called as the hypertensive urgency. In hypertensive urgency, the BP can be lowered within few hours, but in emergency condition, you need to lower the BP within minutes. Now, these hypertensive emergency and urgency conditions are stroke, MI, pheochromocytoma, hypertensive encephalopathy, acute LVF and aortic aneurysm. The treatment of such emergencies is parenteral route of drug administration, IV infusion is done very slowly, there should be a gradual fall in BP by 25% and you should not lower the BP more than uh, 160, to 160 by 100 millimeter Hg. The drug used for the emergency and urgency conditions are first sodium nitroprusside which is a vasodilator. It is the drug of choice because of its predictable, instant, titrable and balanced actions. Second drug used in emergencies and urgencies is glyceryl trinitrate. IV infusion is done, acts in 2-5 to five minutes and it lowers the BP after cardiac surgery, LVF, MI and angina. Thirdly, esmolol is a potent beta blocker which is given as a bolus followed by slow IV injection. It acts in 1 to 2 minutes and the action lasts for 10 to 15 minutes. Finally, fentolamine is a non-selective beta, sorry, it is a non-selective alpha blocker and it is the drug of choice for hyperadrenergic states. For example, when hypertensive episodes occur in pheochromocytoma or clonidin withdrawal, fentolamide is a drug of choice. So here we complete with the lecture on treatment of hypertension. You should remember all the combinations of drugs which are used for the treatment of hypertension and also you should remember the treatment of hypertensive emergencies and hypertensive urgencies. The four drugs which are used and the next lecture will be on anti-anginal drugs. Please subscribe to our channel and till then happy studying.